Good morning and a very warm welcome to all of you as we gather this morning for our Easter Day service and especially a warm welcome to anyone who is visiting with us this morning. If you're back after some time, uh, you'll be the way or if this is your first time with you. It's good to have you here with us for our service. Got a few intimations just to say a couple of thank yous to begin with. Uh, we have uh, wrote, wrote them down in one order of service, but not this one. Uh, two thanks. First of all, inside the sanctuary, you can see there's been a lot of hard work from the Flower Committee who have put together uh, all of our floral decorations. And then also down in the hall, I'm quite sure that if you've not uh, um, enjoyed the breakfast so far, you can certainly smell it. Um, I came down at uh, five past eight this morning and walked up the pathway and there was this delicious smell uh, as uh, we got ready to realise that the, um, the kitchen staff were busy preparing a uh, breakfast. So a big thank you to uh, all who have put so much work into making sure that, uh, that all of this has been provided. There will be tea and coffee after the service. There may well be leftovers too, so that's down in the hall. Our service uh, will be for, uh, for all of us uh, throughout the service and the children can remain for the whole service as we join together as a family. But we are also joined this morning uh, by AM Chorus alongside our church choir and uh, that's why there's far more people behind me than I'm used to. So I'm going to step aside in just a moment uh, as the AM Chorus are going to lead us in a, their introit for today. Jesus Christ is risen today. words call us to worship this morning the long day stretched into night time crept onwards towards the new day with the first gold of dawn came a resurrection a new hope that grew with the rising sun and went out to a waiting world for this is the day when tears are wiped away shattered hearts are mended fears are replaced with joy this is the day that the Lord rolls away the stone of fear, throws off death's clothes, and goes ahead of us into God's future. This is the day that the Lord has made. Death has no fear for us. Sin has lost its power over us. God opens the tombs of our hearts to fill us with life. For this is Easter Day. Christ is risen. Hallelujah. Let us sing together our first hymn of the day. Thine be the glory. Hymn number 419. <laughs>
Let us gather before God together in our prayers. Let us pray. Very early on that first day you caught chaos unawares. Astounding God, you planted grace in a garden. You set love loose on creation and you flung joy into the air. Very early on that first day, Jesus, son of justice, you staggered sin, throwing its weight off the world. You confounded death, leaving it alone in the grave. And you opened the gates of the kingdom so that all could follow you into new life. Very early on this first day of the week, while we were washing sleep from our eyes and trying to make sense of our lives, you sang glad songs to us. Scarred spirit, rolling away fears from our hearts so that we can see the risen Lord. For very early in the morning, God created all that is good and beautiful. Very early in the morning, a mother placed her newborn in a manger. Very early in the morning, the good news was shared with frightened friends that Jesus was risen and alive in our midst. So let us confess the fears and the amazement that we bring this morning. On this morning of hallelujahs, we must confess how human we are. We might not have done any great evil, but we have failed to do good when we had the chance. We might not have intentionally hurt anyone, but nor have we offered healing to the broken. We easily accept the witness of the angel in the tomb, but find it difficult to share this good news with our friends and neighbours. So bring us new life, dazzling God, where we are tired and stressed, give us the energy to serve your creation. Transform our hardened hearts into fountains of grace. Forgive us of all the damage that we have done. And fill us with the joy of your spirit. So draw us near to you and nearer to one another. As we recommit ourselves on the discipleship road, Praying those words that Jesus taught his friends and disciples so long ago, saying together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. <coughs> well, I said very early in the morning uh, during our prayers because of our because of course our clocks changed last night. So well done to all of you for arriving here um, uh, on time and getting here very early in the morning. Be able to greet those who turn up uh, um, in an hour's time and uh, wish them a very happy Easter. There may be one or two. But this morning, I wonder who's going to help me. Who's going to help me this morning? Want to come out and help me? I need lots of you, so I need to come, right? Okay. Anyone want to come help? You come out, right? Okay. You're going to come down? Excellent. Come down, Max. Come down. Okay. Brilliant. Right. Now, what is going on this morning? What day is today? It's Easter. That's right. Absolutely. It's Easter. And so, have you guys, has anything exciting happened this morning so far? What's happened? Charlie, are you coming out? Good to come and help. Okay. Excellent. Right. Anyone got anything this morning? Did anyone get anything? What did you get, Noah? You got Easter eggs. For Easter, brilliant. Well, that means that if you've got Easter eggs, and they uh, what's Easter, what are Easter eggs made out of? They're chocolate, that's right. Well, we're going to an Easter bunny. <laughs> oh my goodness.
good this Easter egg hit the, hit the eggs in, in your garden. I'm going to come over and help us as well. Well, do you know what? After the service today, there is an Easter egg hunt for all of you. So at the end of the service, I want you to come down to the front and Julian will tell you how that works and uh, he'll come and give you the instructions. But you know something? If you've been eating lots of chocolate this morning, then we're going to need a little bit of exercise, aren't we? Yes, we are. Who's good at running? Yes, right, okay. So what we're going to do is I need you guys, I think what we'll do is we're not going to get all of you to run uh, at first because that will just be an absolute rabbi. Um, but let's see if we do one, two, three, four, five, six. I want you six. You see there's a camera up there, right? Okay, I want you to run towards the camera and you can wave to the people who are at home watching our service. And then over on that table, okay, there is an envelope. There's actually three envelopes over there. And one of them says one, okay? And I want you to bring one to me. So, are you ready to? Reese, on your marks, get set, go! They're doing it, they're waving to the camera, right? Okay, now pick up number one for me. Can you find number one? Right, okay. And let's run back down again, really carefully. Excellent. So we're going to open up number one, okay? Because number one starts the story. Mary went to the tomb on Easter morning, very early in the morning. And she was expecting to go and, uh, and see Jesus lying there because Jesus had died on the Friday. And she was expecting to see him lying there all wrapped in grey clothes. But when she got there, she realised that he wasn't there. So she ran, because just like you ran, she ran all the way to Simon Peter. And they said, they have taken him. He's not there. Okay? So that's the first run of this morning. Now, those of you who ran first, come stand next to me, right? Those of you who have not yet run, come up to the front, okay? What I want you to do is I want you to run, when I say go, towards the camera, wave to the people at home, and then bring me envelope number two. Now, I've got lots of eager people here, so if there's any false starts, we'll start again. <laughs> On your marks, get set, go. Oh. <laughs> Back, we'll start again, okay. On your marks, get set, go. Wait to the camera, we're doing it. And bring me now envelope number two. Brilliant, we've got envelope number two. Brilliant, so we open up, yes, that's number two. Okay, right, envelope number two. As soon as Mary ran to Simon Peter and the other disciple and said he's not there, they decided that they were going to run. There was a lot of running on Easter morning. And they ran all the way to the tomb. And the other disciple got to the tomb and he said, I'm not going in. But Simon Peter went in, okay? You all run together, but carefully when I say it on your marks, get set, wait, when I say it. And I want you to get envelope number three for me, okay? Any false starts, we start again? On your marks. Get set. Oh. <laughs> Back again. Remember, you have to wave to the people at home, okay? Are we ready? Hmm? On your marks. Get set, go! <laughs> and we're bringing it back. We have envelope number three. Thank you very much, Luella. Okay. Right. I'm down to what you're doing well. Then. Mary was out and she was back around the tomb and she met some angels and they said they have taken him 
they have taken him. So now what we need to do is we need to go to number four because you're number four, aren't you? Yes? Well, I'll tell you something. Number four is not all the way up the back. Number four is where Mary was because Mary was in the garden. So has anyone got any idea? It's not out in the garden of the church, but somewhere around here, there might be something that looks a little bit like a garden and there might be an envelope, okay? So see if you can find it. Where do you think it is, Edward? You think it's in the flowers? Well done, Edward. Right, okay. Are we going to go and try and find it? Off you go. Here starts the Rami. We've got it. Oh, oh put the eggs down. Put the eggs down. Remember where they are. You come here. Did you fall? You wanted to do it. You want the egg? Right? Listen. Listen to what's right. It's right. Listen. I'm going to tell you something. See those eggs? You're going for just now. And I promise you I've got eggs for you. So, are you going to help me open this envelope? Noah, are you going to help me? Right? Because there's one more. Right. We have envelope number four. And on envelope number four, it says because Mary was in the garden and there was a gardener and the gardener said to her, why are you crying? And when the gardener spoke, Mary realized that that was Jesus, that Jesus was not dead. And although she had been crying, just like no one has, she realized that it was a very, very happy day. Now, she was full of amazement. She was full of love. And there was one more envelope that we need to pick up. And if you think about it this morning, she was full of light. Is there anywhere around the church that's got lots of light at the moment? Oh, Edward, you are the leader. Off we go, over to the tree up the back.
Testament reading today is from the Gospel of St. John, chapter 20, verses 1 to 10, uh, and can be found in the Q Bibles at page 109. That's John, chapter 20, verses 1 to 10. Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. Then Peter and the other disciple set out and went towards the tomb. The two were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent down to look in and saw the linen wrappings lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came, following him, and went into the tomb. He saw the linen wrappings lying there, and the cloth that had been on Jesus' head, not lying with the linen wrappings, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple who reached the tomb first also went in, and he saw and believed. For as yet they did not understand the scripture that he must rise from the dead. Then the disciples returned to their homes. Jesus said to her, Woman, 
Why are you weeping? For whom are you looking? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabuni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not hold on to me, because I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and she told them that he had said these things to her. For the word of God in Scripture, for the word of God among us, and for the word of God within us, we give thanks. Amen. Thank you, Andy. We offer together now our prayers, but before we do that, we also, on a, our communion table this morning, we have uh, some bags uh, of uh, Easter gifts that we go to those of our congregation who cannot uh, be with us uh, normally through either a infirmity or illness, um, and uh, a small gift just to say we are thinking of you, you are important to us, and you're very much a part of us. So let us pray. O God, with faces touched by the light of a new day, and hearts warmed by our prayers and praises, we come before you now to pray for the needs of our world. Into the light of Easter morning, we raise those who are struggling with illness, with despair over their lives, or with the breakdown of relationships. May the light of Christ shine upon them. Into the light of Easter morning, we bring those places in our world where violence, war, poverty and need are the experiences of everyday life. May the light of Christ shine upon them. Into the light of Easter morning, we bring the headline news of this weekend. We share with joy the good news that might be going on and the good news of Easter Day. But we also read over the headlines that are maybe more difficult, more disappointing, and bring us concern or fear or need. And may the dawn and the light of Easter offer us hope in the darkness of these moments. We hold in our hearts the pain of those suffering violence, bereavement, or conflict. May the light of Christ shine upon them. And into the light of Easter morning, we also bring ourselves the private struggles, the heart's yearnings, the hidden dreams and the unfulfilled potential. May the light of Christ shine upon us. Amen. We sing together now hymn number 417. Now the green blade rising. Hymn 417.
seated. We're going to now hear some resurrection remembrances and uh, four testimonies of folk who for different reasons did not expect to meet the resurrected Jesus. We'll have an account from a disciple, then from Cleopas, Thomas, and another disciple as well. But after each witness, we will sing a verse from the hymn below, which is to a, a, a very well-known tune, a Praise the Lord, the God Almighty. Is that, is that the one that praise the Lord? Uh -huh. And a, I think we'll remain seated when we sing those verses. Otherwise, you'll be up and down, and up and down. Um, I see three readers. Have we got a fourth? Or, no, looks like it. Okay, so I'll be the fourth. Uh, and we'll begin with that. Right, okay, so I'll need a script. Uh, well, you're, you're first. So. Okay, so the first one is from uh, a disciple. We had not been expecting him, and yet we had. We were frightened because he had been killed, and they might be looking for us. Then, when some of the women said that they had seen him, we were more frightened than ever. We had denied him, abandoned him, watched him die at a distance, and kept quiet about our previous association. What would he do with us now? So, we sat huddled in an upstairs room, locked away from the world, afraid of them, afraid of him, sitting silently with the snip down. But he came and unlocked every door with his unexpected words. Peace, peace be with you. I am sending you out.
This is from Thomas. For a week I heard the same story from each of you. And the more often I heard it, the less I believed it. We had all been through a lot. We were in a mess. The unthinkable had happened. And we were lost, guilty, and grieving. I thought that maybe the death hadn't sunk in. I thought that they were refusing to come to terms with him, pretending that it hadn't happened. His hands had touched us. His breath had blessed us. But now they were cold, and he was gone. And all that was left was memory. Yet in all my doubt, I envied them. Until doubt had vanished, and faith had kindled again, when a well-known voice said, Put your hands here. So I would now like to invite our church choir to lead us in their anthem, Good Christian, Men Rejoice and Sing.
Let us skip freely of ourselves and take a moment of reflection as our offering is now given and received for the work of the church and to the glory of God Almighty. celebrated within the Church of Scotland, a, a, a larger denomination. Uh, but coming from medieval English times, there was a tradition of burying the Alleluias during Lent. That was effectively that uh, during the time of Lent, nine weeks before Easter, uh, the word Alleluia would not be used uh, during, uh, during worship, during liturgy. And then on the Sunday of Easter, this day, that's when all the Alleluias would come back out again. And, uh, and so in keeping with that, uh, our closing hymn for this morning is plentiful in its Alleluia's because we are going to sing hymn number 147, All Creatures of Our God and King. And there are moments when it feels like there are 147 Alleluia's in uh, the, the hymn, especially as we sing all the verses this morning. So let's sing together in 147, all creatures of our God and King. Let's let these alleluias resound through the church this Easter morning.
has been rolled away, Christ is risen, love wins, with joy in our hearts, with thanksgiving on our lips, and a spring of alleluia hope in our stead. Let us now go and serve the risen Lord, and may the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be upon you and all those whom you love this Easter day and forevermore.